Hello, my name is Carlos Colette. I'm an interventional cardiologist, co-director of the Cardiovascular Center ULV ALS in Belgium. So we have performed a trial where we have included patients with angina, positive exercise tests, and an intermediate probability of coronary artery disease. And in those patients, we have studied both the macro or the epicardial circulation and the micro circulation. And the idea was to understand what was the prevalence of coronary microvascular disease in this subset of patients with ischemia. So UC Clear is a single arm study where again, patients had intermediate probability of coronary artery disease and proof of ischemia were included. We uh, systematically assess the epicardial physiology with fractional flow reserve and the microvascular status of those patients with the index of microvascular resistance. So again, there is a single cohort where all patients underwent an invasive functional assessment with both FFR and IMR. The main objective of the study was to determine what was the impact of systematically assessing the microcirculation on the diagnostic performance of non-invasive stress tests. So the key findings on the study are that half or to be exactly 46% of patients with a positive exercise test and angina have no coronary artery disease. And when I say no coronary artery disease, I'm referring to both the epicardial and the microvascular component. From the other half of the 54% of patients that tested positive, around 34% had an issue in the epicardial compartment. This means that the fractional flow reserve was below 0.8. And in about 17 patients, we found that the index of microvascular resistance was higher, pointing at the fact that in around one out of five patients, the results of the non-invasive uh, stress test, the positive results of the non-invasive stress test are related to a disease in the coronary microcirculation. 